<rire> Bonjour, hi, it's me, Holly Mary. Bienvenue à mon show. <rire> C'est quoi le texte? <rire> Holy Mary Show, do -do 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 -do. and Little Ghost. Bing. Today we're in my kitchen with Little Ghost, and we're going to do a friendly cooking competition. Yay! Okay, go back. It's an old family recipe, passed de génération en génération. It's a delicate balance of flavor, and the layering has to be done perfectly. Pâté chinois. If you don't know what pâté chinois is, well, get out! No, I'm joking. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this dish. My mama told me that the name of the dish came from another sad story about white people exploiting minorities. The story says that Asian workers were largely hired for the construction of the first transcontinental railroad. They were said to be fed with three basic ingredients, steak, corn, potato that we name later Pâté Chinois. So as you can guess, there's nothing Chinese about this dish. Just good old fashioned racism. Sorry about that. The classic recipe is pretty simple. Steak, blé d'ain, pâté. Again, steak, blé d'ain, pâté. Again, steak, blé d'ain, pâté. <laughs> okay, blé d'ain is not even from India. It's corn. We're sorry, again. For this competition, Little Ghost and I are each going to make our own version of the pâté chinois and our guinea pig, Derek, will taste it and tell us which one is the best. Derek, say hi. Hi. Oh my God, who was that? You know what, Little Ghost? We need some cutting here. So much better now. Wait, why am I still crying? Probably because I'm dead inside. What you need for the recipe is pretty simple. Potato, des patates, ground beef, du bœuf haché, onion, un oignon, butter, du beurre, corn, du maïs ou du blé d'Inde, paprika, du paprika, and milk, du lait, and yes, for everyone in the world, we drink our milk in bags. First thing we really need to do it's start the water. It's really important to put salt in your water. I love salt. What's next? Let's peel the potatoes. <laughs> Let me show you how to peel the skin of a potato, like Jeffrey Dahmer would. Uh -huh. How many potatoes would you say you need? Um, I would say that you probably need around, I don't know. If you want to know how many potatoes you need for your pâté chinois, take your plate and place your potato inside of it. If it's full, it means that you have another potato. If it still has room, add more. What's new? I peel my things. Yeah, I'm <laughs> and before I keep going, let's take a little glass of wine, because there is no cooking without wine with me. <laughs> is there a technique? Oh no. <laughs> No, doesn't work. No. Just a little glass of wine. Oops. Cheers. Let's go back to our sheep. Let's put the potato in the water. Try to not boil yourself. It's dangerous. So, uh, are you team ketchup? Oh no. This is like the most insulting thing that you can do to someone. Especially if you don't even taste it before you put your ketchup in it. 
to you have to make sure that your potato are boiling for at least 12 to 16 minutes and make sure that it's tender when you pick it with a fork. Time for the onions. Since I don't want to ruin my makeup, I have a little assistant with no eyes that can help me. Come on, little ghost. Thank you, little ghost. Put your stove at medium high. Add a little bit of oil. The pan is warm. Yeah, she's warm. Let's add the onions. And cook it for 30 seconds to one minute until it smells really good. Don't forget to add the salt and pepper. Can you hear it? The little sizzling of the meat. Let's put bad potato inside the... How does it call? Basket. Uh, pan, uh, no. Pot. A pot. Add a little bit of milk. And don't forget the butter. The butter. The butter. Du beurre en bon québécois. You feel a little bit angry about your husband, or about your job, or about your life. This is a really peaceful way to feel good. Mmm, mm, they're good. We made it, guys. So I feel like the meat is almost done mm. let's do the layering you do a little coat of potato inside of your casserole dish so that way when you're gonna cut your pate chinois it's gonna be stand between two layers of potato just a baby layer like that and then you follow the rest of the recipe. Steak, blédaine, patat. Steak, a blédaine, patat, more patat. It works fine, actually. Works better. Don't forget to put your oven at 450 before everything so it'll be warm and ready for your pâté chinois. To get a little crusty topping, something that you can do is use a fork and do lines on top of your Chinese pâté. And then you have your paprika. Oh, your pâté chinois should look like before going into the oven. And now put it into the oven. Ah, for moi so, baby. Let it bake for 30 minutes and let's hope it tastes good. I think it's ready. Look at this beauty. While we wait for Little Ghost Parishinwa to be ready, don't forget to like and subscribe. How did you enjoy your first experience of doing pâté chinois with me? This is so wonderful, little girl. I'm so happy that you're my friend. How would you describe your pâté chinois, little girl? Are you ready, little ghost? It's the ultimate moment. Let's, Derek, try our pâté chinois. Ah, 
ていつの生ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ